it seems like your body just gets so your body gets um readjusted and then rejuvenated and everything, so you're good. Uh, injuries piling up for you guys defensively, and I know defensive line has, has kind of been able to hold it together and not have too many guys go down. But Hopefully the rest, of the, yeah, <laughs> but the rest of the defense. We can talk about that as, as a defensive leader, just kind of what you guys have had to do to make up for the bodies that, that you're missing right now. Um, it comes into the preparation from like way way back. You know, when we would tell guys, you know, maybe that were two twos or threes to uh, make sure they're paying attention. You know, taking quality reps and paying attention. So um, when situations like this, you know, when it happens, they can, you know, be able to fill in and won't be a drop off. Will, did I just happen to see it, or were they holding you a lot on Texas? Or is, it, is that every game? You have to ask the Big Twelve referee. You know, <laughs> if they don't call, if they don't call it, it's not a hold. So. And just seem like not. a lot of would be like you're getting close to sacks and guys were like grabbing uh, and stuff. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to tap me on my shoulder for something. Uh, try to tell me something. Catch on the back for the job done. Uh, maybe, maybe I just happened to see those plays. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't see it, so I, I couldn't couldn't call it. All right. Well, what kind of special challenge does Kansas bring to the table? Um, <clears throat> well, they're definitely a team that no one should we shouldn't overlook. Um, Coach Sardar mentioned to us that they had, I believe, I think they had um, Oklahoma down fourteen to nothing. You know, they came. They, Texas Tech, I believe. No, Texas, one, one, one of them, but they, they came out and, um, you know, they were running the ball right down the throat. So um, they're, they're not any different from, you know, any team you know, that we play. We can't look past them or, you know, not get, be prepared for to play them. Well, knowing, that, knowing the way you guys play against, against Texas, when you walked off the field and saw 47 points on the board, I mean, did you, how, how, could, how could that have happened? Um, Considering, I mean, you know, that, that's a game that could have been a 21 point game if you catch some offense. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, you try not to look at the scoreboard, but, you know, honestly, um, you know, we just, we just go out there and we just try to play. You know, um, we got we got off the field um, pretty good in the first half. We didn't get off the field on third down that well, you know, in the second half. And um, it showed, you know, um, I would say that that's what uh, displayed on the scoreboard. They talk about Kansas being a, a kind of a unique team in, in the sense that they do something different every week. They're not going to show you the same game plan week in, week out. You talk about that and the importance of kind of going in, expecting anything, but also being able to make in-game adjustments and, and things like that. Um, we just come from, you know, uh, trusting in the scheme and the, what the coaches, you know, are teaching us. And um, you got to watch film on not just one opponent that they, you know, what not one other opponent that they play, you know, not them just playing a certain personnel. So, I mean, um, you know, as long as you cover most of the personnel that they, you know, run, then it should be fine. Thank you very much.